creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I can hardly stand it. I am so excited. I will be doing my very first project using my Cricut Maker. Oh my word, I cannot wait to get this thing going and see how great it is, how great it cuts. Today's project is actually the project that came in the box with the Cricut Maker. And so whenever you buy a Cricut, they typically send you all the materials that you need to do your very first project after you set up the Cricut. And so that's what I'll be doing today. And what's great about this first project is it includes cutting fabric. And so we're all gonna get to see just how easily and how perfectly the Cricut Maker cuts fabric. It's amazing. I know that in the past, I have the Cricut Explorer Air, and there are certain steps that you have to take with the Cricut Explorer Air in order to cut the fabric so you get nice, clean cuts. With the Cricut Maker, you're not supposed to have to do all those additional steps. You're supposed to be able just to put your fabric on the fabric mat and cut away using the rotary blade. And so I can't wait to see how easy this is, how it works. I just can't stand it. And I'm just excited to do this first project. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let's do the first project that actually came with the Cricut Maker. Alrighty, let's get started. This is the box that came with the Cricut Maker itself. And inside this box comes this black envelope and it has all the materials that are needed for the first project. We're gonna open this in a second. We've also got the instruction manual slash welcome book here. It also comes with a rotary cutter. This is a blade that you can switch out your regular blade with. Cricut's also provided us with a rotary blade cap because this blade is so sharp. There's also this black Cricut marker for any of those writing projects that you wanna do, and it comes with the USB cord that is used to actually power up the Cricut Maker itself. Inside this envelope, we've got the materials, like I said, that are needed for this first project that we're gonna do with the Cricut Maker, and it looks like we've got a white piece of cardstock here, We've got a piece of fabric and a blue piece of cardstock. The Cricut Maker also came with this cutting mat. It actually came with two cutting mats. I like to keep the cellophane for my cutting mats because once I'm done using my mat, I put the cellophane back on the mat to help keep the lint off of it. So to start off, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna place the white piece of cardstock here in the top corner of our mat. For this project, we will be using one of Cricut's fine tip pens. Each of the pens has this gray arrow on them. When you are putting this into slot A, this is the adapter for the pen. You really want to make sure and hold the unit itself while you're inserting the pen because you don't want it to break. Slot B is where the regular blade is actually. And so for this first cut, we're going to keep the regular blade in slot B. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna place my mat into the maker and I'm gonna press the arrow up to actually insert the mat to get it ready to cut. Once it's in place and the C is blinking, I'm gonna go ahead and press the C and now the Cricut is gonna cut. It is actually starting off, I believe, with the marker. So it's doing all of the drawing first. And I think at some point here, it's gonna actually tell me to go ahead and take the pen out once it's done all the writing. This is, really is one of my favorite parts of the Cricut is that it actually does this amazing writing. So if you have bad writing, you can count on the Cricut to do your writing for you and you can choose just about any font you want because there's hundreds of them. Once it's done, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna eject it, and using my metal spatula, because this is a newer mat, the grip is kind of tacky. I'm gonna use it to lift up the cardstock from the mat. You wanna be gentle with this. It actually gets easier with time. I kind of prefer a more seasoned mat, a more used mat, because it is easier to lift up without damaging your project. I just find that if you take your time and just kind of lift it, it'll come up without ripping it. 
Now, how cool is that? We've just made the outside of our card, the front of it, and it's a combination of a bit of cutting and a lot of it is using that fine tip pen. I love how easy this is and how easy it is to make a card. Now we're just gonna take that blue piece of cardstock and I'm gonna place it in the back. It made slits so it can easily be placed there. And this is gonna add just a bit of color for the clouds and the lettering. Now I'm gonna take and just fold this in half. There's not a scoring line, which I think is a bit weird because typically it'll score it for you to make it a bit easier to fold it in half, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead, fold this in half and I'm gonna use a tool just to flatten out this crease a bit. Now look at how cute that is. I am loving this. That is one of the things that I love so much about the Cricut because really this was just one step less than five minutes and I've got myself a card. Cricut also provided us with a fabric grip cutting mat. That is the pink mat. I'm gonna go ahead and place my fabric square on the mat. I'm gonna switch out the regular blade with this rotary cutting blade, and this is gonna go in clamp B. It's very easy to change these out. The rotary blade is used for cutting fabric, and what I love about this is that using this rotary blade, you can very easily cut fabric without using heat and bond on the back of your fabric. So that's kind of an added step that costs a bit of money. And so not having to add the heat and bond to the back of your fabric to make it easier to cut through with the regular blade, because there's this rotary blade, you can cut through fabric and it's not gonna fray. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat into the Cricut by pressing the arrow. Once it's loaded and ready to go, the seat is gonna blink telling me it's okay and ready for it to cut. I cannot wait to see how this rotary cutter cuts through the fabric. This is just a whole new level of excitement for me. I haven't yet tried this. And I tell you, I think it's gonna make life a lot easier, especially when quilting, if I wanna add, I guess, some fabric die cuts to any of my quilts. And using some of the images that are provided in Cricut Design Space, it is going to open up endless possibilities when I'm quilting. Things to add to my quilts. I can hardly wait to do a quilt using this machine. Let's see how this turned out. Oh my word, look at how perfect and clean that cut is. This is the fabric to a kite. I'm gonna go ahead and replace my film back onto my cutting mat so I don't get any lint and dust on it. To apply the fabric to my card, I'm just gonna use my advanced tape glider. You could use hot glue, you could use a spray adhesive, but because I had this out already, I just figured I'd use this. So I'm gonna put a bit on the card and I'm just gonna go ahead and place my fabric. How fun was that? This card turned out stinking adorable. I love it. It was easy to do. I mean, really, it doesn't get any easier than that. And it was one of those projects that actually comes free when you're subscribed to the Cricut subscription. I pay $9.99 a month to have access to all of the Cricut images and projects that they offer so I get them free. And to me, it's worth it because I really do utilize Cricut a lot during the month, even though I don't bring you all a lot of Cricut DIYs. I do them outside of YouTube quite often and I love the past Cricuts that I've had and I can already tell that I'm gonna love this Cricut Maker even more because of all of the amazing things that it does and things that it can cut. And so this here, making a card on the Cricut, any Cricut for that matter, is so quick and easy. They've got so many great templates that you can use. You pay the 99 cents and now that is your project to keep in your archive. And so you can use it as many times as you'd like and I love that. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video of me doing my first DIY using the Cricut Maker. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you all enjoyed today's Cricut DIY and you wanna see more of these DIYs using the Cricut, let me know in the comments below because like I always say, I go off of your feedback. Let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. <laughs>